Hey everybody, Tim Buckley here with you talking about the weekend lunar eclipse. Maybe you kind of missed this, maybe it flew under your radar. Yes, a total lunar eclipse is happening. Anybody in the United States can watch it. I'm going to talk specifically the times for us here in North Carolina and a little bit about our local weather, which may complicate things, but hopefully we're still able to see it. Now, first things first, what is a lunar eclipse? A lunar eclipse happens when the Earth passes in between the moon and the sun. It blocks the light, so the Earth's shadow gets projected onto the moon. And that kind of comes in two phases. The main Earth's shadow is called the umbra. We show that in the middle of this screen uh, right here. You can see it. That's going to be the main event. There's a sh smaller shadow called the penumbra which is not that impressive. We're really going to want to start to pay attention at 1030. That's when the partial eclipse begins and you'll start to see that shadow pass over the bright moon making it darker. 1130 is when the main event really starts. That's the total eclipse. That'll last from 1130 to about one. That's when the actual shadow gets the darkest and the moon will get a little bit of a red tint. Some people call this the blood moon because it does have that darker reddish hue to it and it'll last a little while. You have a long while to check this out. Again, 1130 to about 1253 in our area. The best it'll look is 1211 uh, on your Sunday night, early Monday morning. The partial eclipse will start to end as everything kind of brightens up a little bit and the moon will go back to normal by around two in the morning. Now about that weather, it is complicated because I think we will have some afternoon storms that form on Sunday. You can see here on Futurecast around 2, 3, 4, and 5 o'clock, scattered thunderstorms will be bubbling up. And while they should be winding down by around 9 o'clock before the eclipse happens, the problem is, is that when you make a thunderstorm, there are clouds that get left behind. That's part of the problem here. So I'm worried we'll have some clouds around during the main time of the eclipse. But if you look closely on this map, you can see there are plenty of breaks developing in the clouds across the Piedmont by around 1130. That is when the eclipse starts. So we're going to have to be, uh, let's say, uh, fingers crossed hoping for the best with that situation. Uh, we are going to have some coverage for you. We'll have some cameras streaming on News 2, and you can watch it live here if you're not able to watch it live in your backyard.